So I'm going to quickly read the question and uh, let's try to understand how we can solve this. So John wrote the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 on a whiteboard. John then erased some of the numbers and added up the remaining ones. He got a sum of 24. At most, how many numbers were left on the board? So there are a few key points that we need to make sure that we understand that the sum is 24 and that we need to find the most numbers that were left on the whiteboard. So I'm actually going to write these things down. So the total or the sum should equal to a 24. And we have to find the most numbers that can stay on the whiteboard. So now let's try to find the most numbers that can stay on the Board, on the whiteboard and follow the same logic. So instead of starting from the largest numbers, we want to start from the lowest numbers. So 1 plus 2 is 3. That's too low. That's nowhere near 24. So we want to add 1 plus 2 plus 3, which will give us 6. Again, we can keep adding. This is nowhere near 24. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which will give us 10. Again, not anywhere close to 24 yet. So I'm going to keep adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, which gives us 15. So let me write that down. And then... If I do a, I, I'm going to expand this. If I add one more, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 equals 21. So now we're so close to 24. But if we see, this might not actually work. Because now we want to find another number that needs to be on the whiteboard so that the sum of this formula plus another number should give us 24. So following the same logic, if we're going to test this, so we are going to say that we want 1 plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6, plus another number to give us a 24. And if you solve that equation by bringing all of these numbers to the other, to the right-hand side, we get another number equals 24 minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, so it would be 24 minus all of these would give us a 3. And now we know that this cannot be possible because number 3, we already used number 3. It was already on the whiteboard. So we can't have two whiteboard or two 3s on the whiteboard. So we know that this equation doesn't work. We cannot have two 3s left on the whiteboard because when we started, we only had one three on the whiteboard. So we want to take a step, step back and we want to test the earlier equation, which was this one, where we added one plus two plus three plus four plus five to give us a 15. If we use this equation and we test this one, we need to find another number where we would add to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, so another number, should give us a 24. And 
if I bring all of those values to my right hand side, I have 24 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5. And when I do 24 minus that, I get a 9. So 9 is a unique number. 9 is not on the blackboard. We haven't used 9 yet. So what we are saying is that in order for this to be the most numbers to stay on the whiteboard, we can use numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 9. So this means if you count the number, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers need are the most that can stay on the whiteboard to get a total sum of 24. Because 3 was not a unique number. We were already using 3. We know that formula doesn't work. That equation does not work. So we go back. We step back and use the earlier equation, and we find 9. And once we find 9, we know that all the numbers that will be used on the whiteboard to get a total sum of 24 are unique numbers and are the most numbers that we need to get that total of 24. Thank you.